On Earth, there are vast lands that are largely unusable due to deserts. On the other hand, the oceans hold water that makes up 70% of the planet, yet they remain unusable because it is salt water. We are proposing a solution to break through this situation. There have been discussions about producing fresh water at the coast and sending it to desert areas through pipelines, but it is not cost-effective and difficult to implement. Here, we present a completely new proposal to overcome this situation. This is a proposal to build canals for seawater in order to generate fresh water through desalination, even in inland areas far from the sea. It is a two-for-one proposition that would be significantly cheaper than pipelines while also providing a means of maritime transportation. By placing numerous devices along the canal, the surrounding areas can be converted into farmland. By installing small devices, greening can be achieved on site, eliminating the need to transport water. Grazing will also be possible, and livestock can be fed salt harvested separately mixed with their feed. Furthermore, by transporting agricultural products via the canal, transportation costs will also be drastically reduced. It can also be utilized for maritime transportation. We will construct multiple canals sequentially, and along the desert sections of each canal, we will install 5,000 desalination units over a distance of 500 kilometers. With the Yabe type desalination units, it is possible to build a set of 500,000 tons per day for about 100 billion Japanese yen. At this time, salt can be produced at a rate of 6.4 million tons per year, which can generate an income of 64 billion Japanese yen, if sold at 10 yen per kilogram, allowing recovery of the equipment costs within two years. By securing funds in this way, we can extend the canals even deeper into the desert. Cows eat 60 kilograms of grass every day, but the grass does not contain enough minerals. Therefore, each cow needs 120 grams of salt per day. A desalination device that produces 10 tons of drinking water per day can extract 350 kilograms of salt daily. With 350 kilograms of salt, it can sustain 2,900 cows. The Yabe type desalination device uses a method that evaporates at low temperatures ranging from 20 degrees to 70 degrees, so it operates sufficiently with warm water heated to about solar thermal levels. Moreover, since it operates at atmospheric pressure, the device is lightweight and inexpensive. It separates salts and other substances in seawater without using membranes, resulting in no consumables and easy maintenance. Everything fits into a single container, making the device compact. As it reuses latent heat, almost no additional heating is required for evaporation, and heating is sufficient with solar thermal energy alone. When using solar heat, smaller devices are advantageous. Since the surface area to volume ratio is 1 over length, Smaller devices can effectively utilize solar energy, and are highly efficient. If you store the heated water collected during the day in a vacuum-insulated storage tank, it can still operate at night. Solar water heaters are more efficient and cheaper than solar cells. The Yabe type desalination device can operate at any salt concentration, salinity. The salinity level of seawater is about 3.5%, but as it becomes more concentrated, the salinity level increases, and when it exceeds 20%, it begins to precipitate, as shown in the picture. In the Yabe method, solid salt can be recovered simply by scooping up the salt that has settled at the bottom. Since it is solid, it can be transported by ships, and it can be transported to the factory along the canal. Salt is used in various materials. Salt is used in a variety of things. The illustration on the right is reprinted from the homepage of the Salt and Tobacco Museum in Japan. Seasonings, of course, 
are utilized in a wide range of items such as clothing, rubber products and glass products, but this is not widely known. Currently, only 280 million tons are being harvested annually, so consumption is at a similar level, but if production increases, demand will grow accordingly.